So now we're actually in the landfill waste. This is the biggest stress mountain area in Bali. It's about 32 hectares of land. And there's between 100 to 200 families live here as a scavengers and trash pickers. And we're going to, to bless some of the families here. Hello, Ibu. Bapa, ini ada teman saya so, dari dari Inggris sama dari Jakarta mau bagi-bagi sedikit. Mudah-mudahan bisa membantu sedikit ya. So Pete, these guys are living up here. Oh uh, no, these guys mostly living down the way we are. Yeah. yeah. And then they're just coming up here working during the day. Yeah, they're working during the days and also what they sorted here, they carried back down and then when they carry it back down yeah. that's when they sort everything out with the plastic bottles okay. and everything else and then the pengepul will take it to Surabaya and then sort it out there recycling it there and then send it back to China I don't know what the average salary is for Pumbalum but I think it's probably very very low now very low. The, they make only 1.6 million to 2 million a, a month, month with 16 hours work yeah. Like in this condition. Okay, we're going we're going now to the land waste. Papa Yudi asal dari mana? Sebelumnya kerja apa? Kerja sampah. Pemulung di Surabaya. He's also pemulung in Surabaya before. Ah. In Benua. Ah, okay. He's been working here for one year. Satu tahun, Pak ya? Yeah. So this one if it's if he sell it for one kilogram, satu kilogram pak ya, satu yeah. kilogram dapat seribu lima ratus saja. Yeah. One thousand five hundred only. One thousand five hundred rupiah for no one kilo. Way. Khusus yeah. khusus ini ya. Only this. Yeah. That's how hard it is, bro. Yeah. Our hospitality industry yeah. contribute the most of this waste in Bali, right? Yeah. Because we're eighty five percent. Like every day, two bottles of water in one room. That's on a daily basis. How many rooms in Bali? Yeah. 200,000, 300,000. Yeah. Exactly. So at this moment, within this pandemic, probably about 1,100 tons yeah. coming into this area. But in a high season, yeah. 2,000 to 3,000 tons every day. Yeah. So this is the reality. This is the things that we need to help. I think what we're trying to say is partnering together. Yeah. Partnering together, not just with organization, NGO, but also with the government, yeah. with local government, with foreign countries. What does government participation look like right now? For example, like all, all of this used to be waste. The government actually do good works. They put soil on it and then they put greens on it. So before it's way smell, the stench, the yeah. smells, way bro. Way worse. Way worse. So for yeah. the past three years, four years, when the government start this area, it's supposed to be as an eco park. At this moment, they have two to 22 hectares of land that they, they make it as an eco park okay. and 10 hectares as a wasteland that will turn it into renewable energy, which not yet. But yeah. the government already see that goals, but execution needs to be done yeah. properly.